So the expo. So um, part of my ignorance, but have you have you been? No, before? that last oh, this dude. past year. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm slipping every every time. I'm I'm not like DJing every single day, but like typically, like yeah, I don't know. My schedule is crazy, and then I was was working in radio at the time for like for years. So it's like I could never get the time off to go. But next year, I don't care what's going on. I will be present. Like I will be present. You have to, man. You got to make time to set some time to develop yourself and even just networking opportunities. I mean, the expo or really any of these conferences, they're what you make of it, right? If you just want to go and get drunk and party then or just gamble, like you can. You know, if you want to <laughs> attend every seminar and be a, an absolute like bookworm, you can do that. You know, if you want to make it about the people or the food or the education, it's it's you're only going to get out as much as you put in you know, 110% with any of these things. So, but I definitely recommend finding um, at least one conference a year to make it to. I've been to them like pretty much all over the country. I went out to, um, it used to be called Mobile Beat, okay. which is out it's in big, Vegas. Right? Now yeah. Now it's called um, Mex because they combined um, DJ and photo booth. Okay. They kind of rebranded the show. So that, that's yeah. a dope show. Um, DJ Expo is one of the biggest ones in the country. So definitely make that a priority. Um, there's Marquis show out in Chicago. There's the DJ collective that bounces. I mean, there's so many opportunities to, to, um, to do this. So make some time to, uh, to invest in yourself and your first slice will be on me. Well, if we, we, we link up, oh, I, got your, I got your first slice. Oh, I appreciate that. So, <laughs> so, um, so it's crazy. So the last expo, I honestly, I just wanted to go and just chill. Like I didn't want to, I didn't want to present one year. I did, um, I was a keynote speaker with Nick Spinelli. We did a thing on social media marketing. Um, sometimes I help like vendors work booths, you know, or whatever. I just wanted to go and just be with the people and chill, but it didn't turn out that way because I had people kind of call me like, Hey, you want to do this? You want to do this? You want to do this? And one of those was that, um, all female, um, panel that, um, was a tremendous experience. Now I did give the show, um, a little feedback on that and I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it real here. Um, they're kind of revisiting the, the format here, but I didn't really like the fact that it was a segregated space, right? We actually had a lot of men showing up at the door that wanted to be a part of the conversation. They wanted to be a part of the environment, even if they just sat in the back of the room, kind of like a fly on the wall, just like absorbing the conversation. Um, they showed up to support and they were, they were turned away at the door. Mm-hmm. And I didn't, I didn't like that. Um, you know, if we're trying to make it about community, and a shared experience and break down those walls of gender and bias. And at the end of the day, dope DJs are dope DJs. Um, I didn't feel that that was the best way to, to communicate that. So we had great conversations on the inside and their ex- explanation to me was they wanted to make it a welcoming safe space for women to say what they wanted to say. But my opinion was like, I, I get that, but if you're at a, a national conference and people want to participate, um, you don't want to create echo chambers. I don't need to hear other females about how hard it is. I know how hard it is. I live it every yes. weekend. You know, I want people to to hear what we go through and hear how they can support and how we can be just, again, kinder, better community. So, um, so that's my honest answer. So I, I was tremendously flattered to have been a part of it. Um, I just hope next year they revisit it and we can kind of come together again as a, a community rather than a segregated space. What's going on, DJ family? DJ Reese here. Every Monday at 9 a.m., I'm dropping a new podcast episode where I'm highlighting some of the dopest DJs out there that are creating vibes at all the venues that they're DJing at. If you want to hear these stories, level up in your DJing. If you're a new beginner DJ, you need new tips want to hear the inspiration from the DJs who started out new that are taking their DJing game to the next level. Well, you got to check out WeCreateTheVibes.com every Monday, 9 a.m. New stories, new episodes from the dopest DJs out there killing it in the game right now. Hosted by DJ Reese. Again, check out WeCreateTheVibes.com.